Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Revlon sent me this crazy package full of foundation, eyeshadow, lips, everything you could think of. So we're doing a drugstore tutorial today, for the most part at least. I'm using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer just to moisturize my face. And then I'm going in with the Revlon Color Stay Brow Mousse, which is probably the most interesting brow product I've ever used. It's this little spoolie, you twist it at the bottom and the color just pours out and fills your entire brow with color. They are a little bold for me usually, but um, with the look I felt like it went pretty well, but it completely filled my entire brow. I just cleaned it up a little bit with some q-tips, but like that is all mousse. No pencil, no nothing. It just is that and it just was such a cool application. I've never tried anything like that before. So it was interesting to see. So I just put that all over. Then we're going to use the Color Stay Eyeshadow Primer. Just putting that on with my fingers. Just rubbing that in. Reminds me of the Urban Decay Primer. And actually it was a really nice primer. The eyeshadow stayed pretty nicely. Going in with the Color Stay Palette in Passionate. And I'm first just using a soft brown base from just a random palette. And then I'm going to go in with this navy blue color and just kind of swirl around a flat brush. This is from Coastal Suns, I believe. I'm just going to pat that all along the lid and then just blend that back and forth with an E40. And blend it back and forth, blend it back and forth. But basically just putting that all over the lid, that's going to be our focus for the most part. I was going to do a halo and I kind of end up doing one, but I really, really love this navy and wanted it all over the lid. I just thought it was really, really pretty. And as I kept doing this look, I was like, this kind of looks like the Kim Kardashian Mario palette look in a little bit of way, in a little bit of way. So I figured why not, you know, make it more similar to that look that she did. So I'm using that sparkly teal and putting that in the center just to give it a little bit of pop. And yes, I wet it with the Rose Fix Plus by MAC. And I'm just blending it back and forth with the navy and that shimmer shade. Just making sure everything blends together nice. And I was really nicely surprised with how everything blended. The primer did its job. Now using this color stay little wheelie liquid liner in like a teal. And I'm just going to line that out very interesting way of uh, application but it was actually fairly easy I felt like with this whole blue look like why not just do some teal liner looks cool I'm just putting on my favorite mascara this mascara I'm using is Tarte they didn't send me mascara so I just figured I would just throw on whatever one was laying around so I'm just putting this one all over these lashes bringing them up to the scabs mm -hmm. I just love the way this one defines the for rolls. And for lashes, I'm using the Gigi Bell Lashes in Tutti. These are my favorites right now. I'm using the Huda Beauty Lash Glue. I'm just popping those babies on. And you guys can get 20% off with code SUBBY at checkout. And I always get asked how I snap my eyes, and this is literally how I do it with the flash on. Just like that. So I'm using the Photo Ready Set and Prep Spray by Revlon. Just putting that all over. And then I'm using the Insta Filter. I'm not sure which shade I use. I'll put it below. This was a really interesting application. But it actually blended out pretty nicely. And it didn't smell weird because you guys know I'm weird with the smells. And I'm just going to blend this all down towards the neck. I think I'm like not, I forgot what color I am, I have to look. Then I use the Peach Corrector, kind of reminds me of Bright Forecast from MAC, it does the same kind of tricks, and I really like the way it looked, and I honestly could just use that. I felt like super brightened, and it did conceal a bit, which I liked. I'm just using my Beauty Blender to blend this out. But no, really, I liked it. And I felt like I could just wear this really easily. 
For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. I will also check on the shade of that one. Everything will be below, so don't worry. They didn't send me a concealer, so I love the Maybelline Fit Me. It reminds me of the NARS Creamy Concealer, but like a little bit more hydrating. So I'm just going to blend that out. Setting with Kat Von D's setting powder, the Locket setting powder. I know this isn't all drugstore, but it's probably the most drugstore I've ever done. So I hope you guys still appreciate that. It's like 97% drugstore. I'm using a Rimmel Natural Bronzer. Love this bronzer. Probably my favorite drugstore one. Gives me the most natural glow ever. And it's not too orange. It's not gray or too brown. It's just like the perfect tone and just gives you that beautiful little bronziness. Using Celebrated Blush by Tarte and then just going to wipe away all of the extra powder. And I'm going in with the navy underneath the lash line and just kind of smoking that out. I was going to go in with a different color but I just, you know, went with that blue color. It just looks so pretty now that I'm looking at it. I love the way it came out. What do you guys think? Putting that little white in the corner because we got to have our corners pop in. And then I'm using the Sunlit Dream Highlighting Palette and I'm using all of these colors and just mixing them all together and putting them on my cheeks. Look how beautiful and soft this came out. I mean, you can totally like amp it up, but it came out so beautiful. Putting it on the nose, I'm using a Morphe M501. And then I'm using the Plumping Lip Cream in Nude Honey with Nude Truffle Liner by NYX. And I'm just going to line it out first. And then I'm just going to put that lip over it. It was such a nice consistency. I remember being really, really happy with how moisturizing it was, how pretty the color came out. It was just like, it's like a gloss and a lipstick combined. It was really, really nice. And it plumps your lips a little bit. So it is you looking for a little plump and it gives it to you. Mm-hmm. So pretty. And my little side ponytail. Clip. Going to spray with that setting and prep spray again. And that's it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. This 97% drugstore tutorial. I know I have been a little absent and a little weird on my Instagram and on here lately. But I promise I will be back and better than ever. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to thumbs it up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you later.